Hello and welcome to today's video. We are here talking about something that I should have talked about a couple days ago, but a bunch of things came up and I didn't get to make this video. So there's that. But we're going to talk about Overwatch League being on ESPN, ABC, and Disney, uh, which is very cool that Overwatch League showed on there. Uh, they started that for the playoffs, which is on Wednesday, the first game for that. And they'll continue that for the rest of the playoffs. So they'll show a couple games. Uh, the, uh, obviously the first game they showed on Wednesday. The game's on Friday. The game on Saturday. The next week again the same thing. Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. And then the final two games. Which I think is very, very cool. It would be interesting if they put like Watchpoint, that show that they do for Overwatch. Which is on like MLG, Twitch, YouTube, all that stuff. If they put that... On ESPN, that'd be really cool. Uh, where they just talk about the games. I think it's like 30 minutes or something. But they could put that on there. That'd be interesting. But either way, I think it's very cool that Overwatch League for the playoffs is on ESPN. Now, granted, it's on ESPN 3, which is more the streaming thing. Uh, but it's cool that they put it on something either way. I think this opens the potential for the next season to put on ESPN 2 or ESPN itself, the main channel. Because uh, those two are the TV channels. And they're going to have the final game, day one of the finals, for whatever two teams are in the championship, will be on ESPN. Like, the main channel and everything will be right on there. So that's really cool. All the games are also on Disney XD, which is some Disney channel. I know Pokemon's on Disney XD. <laughs> I don't know what's on Disney XD. Honestly, no idea. Uh, but, that's something I know that's on is Pokemon. <laughs> uh, but... <laughs> Yeah, that's the thing. So it's on Disney XD, which is cool. Uh, I don't know if that's really necessarily a main Disney channel. I know I don't have it on the TV that we have. I know we don't have that. Uh, I know it's part of YouTube TV, because I had that for like a month. But uh, either way, I think it's a higher up package. But it's still cool, either way, to have it be shown on more than just streaming on Twitch. Because that's something it's on. Twitch thing is on MLG. Well, obviously it's on MLG. It's on by Blizzard. Or Activision, whatever you want to say. So my Blizzard Activision will say that. Um, so, or, you know, however you say the name. If it's Activision, Blizzard, I don't really care. By the way, it's owned by them. So, of course, it's on MLG and Twitch. But it's very cool that it's on ESPN. Again, I think, actually, it's everywhere in the world on Twitch, except for China. Because China's weird. Uh, but <laughs> everywhere else... Because I know they have multiple different language Twitch things for Overwatch League. Because they have the Overwatch League Twitch. And they have the French one. Korean. Those are the only two that I remember. Um, but I think they have other ones. Well, they have to have other ones. Other language ones. Either way. That's not what we're here to talk about. We're talking about it on ESPN. I think it's very cool. Because it's up there. Obviously ABC. They show some of the major sports things on ABC. Uh, they show... Did they have baseball? I think they have baseball on ESPN, ABC. I know they have the NBA Finals are on ABC, so they have basketball on ESPN. Because ABC is, like, where they show the biggest things. They have it on ESPN for, like, sports. But if you go to, the, like, the next level up, it's on ABC. So they have, like, one thing they're going to, like, recap something on ABC. One day. I'm not really sure what that is. But it's very cool that they're doing it on ESPN. And it definitely has the potential to... Grow the sport, grow Overwatch League uh, as a thing, and, you know, see where it goes. Of course, there's people that say esports aren't necessarily sports. They're different. It's a little bit, uh, you know, for people to say it's a sport. I know it's the same thing when I see different stuff for NASCAR. People come and that's not a sport because it's different. Because people, when they think of sports, are like, oh, a sport is just playing basketball but or you know football baseball you know whatever so that's kind of the thing uh but yeah overwatch league esports are a sport you know it's a thing but that's the thing i know when it's always a thing with stuff like that that it's like is it a sport but people i think at some point will embrace it as a sport Plus, younger people embrace esports more. I don't even for myself that I wasn't fully sold in esports. And honestly, there's part of me that still 
is not necessarily sold in all of esports. Like, I'm into Overwatch League, I love Overwatch League. Well, there's just a part of me that some of these other games, I just don't see other esports. Like, uh, Fortnite, everybody's playing Fortnite and trying to make it like a competitive sport. You can't make Fortnite competitive. Um, it doesn't work. I don't know the other games that people play. Honestly, I don't. But I think that it comes to a point. Like, when people want to have esports in the Olympics, that's a little bit too far, personally. I know there's people that say it should be, but there's, from my personal opinion, I feel like the Olympics should stay being whatever sports they are now, that type of sport. But they could do, like, a esport Olympics, or something like that. But I just think adding it into the, I assume, Summer Olympics, uh... Would be what they added into. I don't see how esports would necessarily work as a Winter Olympics. But <laughs> Personally, I could see it being more Summer Olympics. I thought I could see it be either one because it doesn't really fit either thing. It should just be its own Olympics. But other back to be on ESPN, it definitely will grow. That's, like, that's how we started talking about this. Um, yeah, so we'll see it grow more, I think. Because I think the thing is, is getting esports to grow in America and Europe. You know, the Western countries and things like that. And that's also something you see with, like, the uh, Overwatch League and how some of the players take it in a different way. The Korean players take it more, like, seriously and the players from, like, America are just like, Yay, Overwatch! So, it's a similar thing. Esports has been popular in Korea for a really long time. You know, it's been up there for a while. And that's really where all the Overwatch tournaments were. For the couple of years, Overwatch had been a game and a bunch of games before. So much happened in Korea. And it tried to get it to be more popular in America and Europe. And I think to be able to grow in America specifically, because that's obviously the part that I can understand of it, <laughs> living in America, being from America, um, I understand what they're trying to do to get esports more popular here. As you see with the Overwatch League, all but three teams in the Overwatch League are from America. Seoul Dynasty, Shanghai Dragons, London Spitfire are the only ones that are not. And, yeah, trying to build esports more popular in America, and I think putting on ESPN, ABC, Disney XD is a good start. To build the popularity of esports in America. Because it's something that has to be worked on to grow the sport. I think that they've kind of... It's a bigger... There's more people to get interested in esports in America than you could have in Korea. There's more people living in America. So they've already sort of hit that esports limit in Korea. Everybody, like, is in it. There's so many, that's where the best players are from. So many people understand it. But to get it to be in America and Europe is really the step that they have to take with any esport, and I think that they've taken a good step in America by putting it on to uh, ESPN. And again, that's the whole thing with the Overwatch League in general, is the reason that it works in America is the way that it's formatted. Because sports in America, and I've feel a lot like Europe as well with like their soccer teams that it's built around the cities where esports being popular in Korea is more just the organization I feel from what I've seen with it there's two large cities in Korea and you can't necessarily have a league with two teams named after cities <laughs> so it doesn't really matter so much there they're just like organizations and things like that you know, you got Seoul, Busan, that's it. <laughs> you know, you don't really have much to build around in that sense. So I don't think it really matters so much there. They can just be like, all right, this is our team. A couple of them, I'm sure, will have those names of those cities, but it doesn't matter as much. Where to sell something sports-wise in America, you got to put a city name with it. <laughs> that's what sells brands. You think of some of the biggest sports brands, they all are cities, you know basketball, the Lakers, Los Angeles, you know, you got the Celtics, the Boston, you know, things like that. Same with baseball, 
Red Sox are Boston, Yankees New York, you know, it goes with the cities. So to sell something in America like that, it really works well. Because you think of the teams in the Overwatch League, the Valiant, so you got Los Angeles there, you got the Shock, you got San Francisco, what other teams are there? Uprising, Boston, you know, all the cities that they can do. You got the, F the Fusion in Philadelphia, Outlaws, Houston, you know, so they can just represent the cities. So that's the best way to sell something, sports-wise, in America, is to have a city with it. I know this entirely didn't necessarily talk about who we meant to talk about, but just sort of the comparisons between selling esports and branding esports in Korea compared to branding esports in America. But again, back to what we're really here to talk about. Putting Overwatch League on ESPN, I think, is really good. And we'll see how it goes. I think more in Season 2 you'll probably see bigger changes with that. You know, once there's the bigger matchups, some of them might end up on ESPN. You know, I think the big matchups in Overwatch League, you know, you got the Excelsior and Uprising, you know, Boston and New York. You got... I mean, I think anytime Seoul and New York play, that's a good match just because the players... Uh, up against each other. Obviously in season one it was supposed to be a big matchup. Uh, but you know, the best Korean players in the world playing each other. I don't know how that's really gonna sell necessarily in America, but you can have the teams play each other still. <laughs> but that could be one they could put on ESPN. Seoul Dynasty, New York Excelsior, Boston Uprising, New York Excelsior. Anything that has New York Excelsior. You could put New York Excelsior, Los Angeles Valiant, you know, you get New York and Los Angeles. You could have the Shock and the Valiant. Or the Shock and the Gladiators, you know. San Francisco and Los Angeles. So there's a couple matchups they could put on TV, I feel, in an actual match. But, yeah, it's very, very interesting. I'm interested to see how it works and what happens with it. Again, a lot of it's just streaming on ESPN3. Again, one match is on ESPN. But a lot of all the matches are on Disney XD, which is actually a channel. So yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and were interested. And um, we'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.